Hello and welcome to weather. We're in the peak of the Atlantic hurricane season, which runs from mid-August to mid-October, and there are five Atlantic tropical cyclones in the Atlantic this evening. That makes 10 named storms so far, with the outlook of 12 to 17 expected this season. Now let's first of all look at post-tropical cyclone Idalia, which will likely move to the near or the south of Bermuda on Saturday. Tropical storm conditions are expected on Bermuda beginning on Saturday, and this includes heavy rains of 125 millimeters, likely to cause flash flooding in Bermuda. Now northeast of Bermuda, we have Hurricane Franklin, which has lost its tropical cyclone characteristics and has now become a powerful extra-tropical cyclone and it will likely continue heading northeastwards during the weekend, but gradually weaken into early next week. Meanwhile, the newest tropical storm, which is Jose, which you can just make out there, will likely accelerate northward, but it will be short-lived. Jose is expected to be absorbed by Franklin tonight or early Saturday and then make its way as a combined system towards Europe. Meanwhile, Gert has become a tropical storm again for the second time in a month in a row, and uh, some slight additional intensification is possible through Saturday, but weakening is likely by Sunday, and Gert should dissipate by Monday. And the newest uh, tropical depression forms over the eastern Atlantic. Tropical depression 12 is northwest of the Cabo Verde Islands and forecast to become a tropical storm by Saturday while heading northwest into this weekend. Now, meanwhile, today we've had a tropical wave affecting the, the east and the Caribbean, and we have some moisture lingering there. But we have one system as well. We haven't talked about this one just off the coast of uh, Africa. This one has a low chance at this time of becoming a tropical depression, but a medium chance by the time we get to early next week. But this system as well poses no threat to Trinidad and Tobago. Now we've been looking at this uh, tropical wave, which is bringing some isolated showers and uh, thunderstorms across Trinidad and Tobago today. This uh, instability will continue, at least for the first part of tonight, eventually clearing as we get towards later on uh, tonight and into uh, Saturday. But we also have some Saharan dust in uh, the air, and this will likely make its impact by the time we get to Sunday and end the weekend on a hazy note. So looking then at uh, today, we've had uh, temperatures of 32 degrees Celsius at Crown Point, 32.3 degrees Celsius at uh, Piaco. Currently, we're looking at 29 degrees Celsius in the uh, and 27 degrees Celsius across in Scarborough. Now, looking at uh, tonight's forecast, we start generally fair, but a few showers are expected later on tonight, looking for a minimum of 26 degrees Celsius in uh, Tobago. And uh, for Trinidad, just a couple of degrees lower at 24 degrees Celsius, again with some brief showers expected after midnight. Now, through Saturday, we'll start the weekend generally sunny, but don't be surprised if you see one or two brief showers coming in, especially across the main ridge in the Tobago, a high of 32 degrees Celsius, but it will feel hotter than that. And meanwhile, in the Trinidad as well, we're looking at a high of 33 degrees Celsius, but it will likely feel like 37 once you add the humidity into that. We're looking at partly cloudy skies on Saturday for Trinidad, where there is a 30% chance, a low chance, of a thunder shower erupting over western areas. So be watching out for that as you go through Saturday afternoon. Now, into the outlook, we're looking at uh, mostly settled conditions for Tobago. And we talked about that Saharan dust on a Sunday. Some of that will likely begin to make inroads into Trinidad as well. But we can't rule out the odd shower, particularly during the western half of uh, Trinidad as we go through uh, later on the Saturday as well as uh, for Sunday. Now, for mariners and uh, fisher folks, slight seas expected up to 1.3 meters there. Calm in uh, those uh, sheltered bays for bathers. And if you are heading out, you've got your high tide at 5.32 a.m. and at 5.44 p.m. But bearing in mind, spring tides are in effect until a Saturday. So be mindful that the high tides will likely be higher than normal as you go into the first part of your weekend. And before I leave, remember that we're in the peak months of the Atlantic hurricane season. So be prepared.